Ferguson Automobile Plant is testing autonomous mining equipment. A Bella 7513R dump truck with a payload capacity of 136 tons and a Bella 78250 loader with a payload capacity of 22 tons. An unusual sight. A huge Bella's dump truck pulls up to the place of loading, but his cabin is empty. An equally large Bellas loader, also without an operator in the cab, drives up to the dump truck and pours the load into its body, but the mass of each exceeds 100 tons. The Bellarison automobile plant, known under the Bellas brand, has been creating robotic mining equipment for several years. Bellas robot dump truck moves and unloads without any human intervention. The Bellas mining loader in autonomous mode moves only to the place of work, and the operator controls the loading into the dump truck, but not from the cab, but remotely. The control center may be near the quarry, or it may be somewhere in the office at a distance of several hundred kilometers. The operator has three monitors in front of his eyes, which display the environment around the loader and another monitor displays the main parameters of the loader. The operator's workplace is similar to a game car simulator with a steering wheel and joysticks. Only in our case, the operator controls not a virtual machine, but a real loader. No one controls the Bellas robotic dump truck. A program is loaded into his computer, according to which he must act without human intervention. This program itself knows where to load, where to unload and what is the width of the traffic corridor, beyond which the car must not go in any case, due to what the dump truck will accurately determine its coordinates on the route. Firstly, due to the JPS and GLONASS satellite systems. Secondly, due to the constant exchange of data with the quarry positioning system. Thirdly, due to the onboard inertial system. Positioning accuracy with satellite systems is phenomenal. The error is only 3 cm with a possible deviation of up to 5 cm. Therefore, on the road, two oncoming robotic dump trucks pass each other without any problems, almost close to each other, at a distance of less than 1 meter. If the satellite connection is interrupted for a while due to interference, the truck still continues along the route. Its inertial positioning system allows you to accurately follow the course for the next few minutes until the satellite connection is restored. During a demonstration at a landfill, a robotic dump truck moves backwards to the unloading site. But for a robot it doesn't matter. The dump truck computer receives information about the obstacle from several tracking devices at once and decides on which side to bypass the obstacle or even stop until it is eliminated. If the obstacle has not disappeared, then the dump truck gets in touch with the operator, and the operator already decides how to proceed. Bellas does not manage without human control at all, but the operator controls the work of 10 such dump trucks at once, thereby replacing 10 drivers, and even more, because 3 drivers can work on one dump truck per day, replacing each other every 8 hours. Every mining truck driver needs to pay a large salary, take out insurance and transfer money to a pension fund. The robot does not need this. How much does the Bellas robot cost? According to the developers, the cost of a robotic mining dump truck is 10 to 12 percent more than a conventional one, but its productivity will be higher and its costs lower, by 5 to 15 percent.